Hello, happy Tuesday. How's it going? Um, I'm doing good. Uh, shit, I don't know what week it is. It's probably 59, 60. I think at some point in my last video, I said it was like 66 or something. I don't even know where that came from. Um, anyways, I am in bed. <laughs> this is going to be a very casual video, as all of my videos are. Um, so I didn't make a video last week. So then it was the week before that that I said it was week 66. Um, I did not make a video last week. I didn't have time. I'm full of excuses. I just didn't get to it. So I apologize. Um, but there wasn't a lot going on anyways. And so I kind of would rather just, you know, come to you when I at least have something to mumble about. So this week I have something to mumble about. Um, so last time I saw you, I was out of my maintenance. You know what? I watched my videos back and I do this a lot. It was even annoying me. So if this annoys you, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't even know why I do it. Um, so anyways, last time I came to you two weeks ago, um, I had gained a little bit of weight and it was out of maintenance range. So, uh, I guess I'll give you my stats. So my full spiel, um, High weight, 343, September of 2015. Uh, January 2016, I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy here in Rancho Cucamonga, California, and I was 310 pounds on um, day of surgery. Uh, last week, um, I was 183, I think it was like 0.5 or something like that. Um, so then this past Monday when I did not come and make a video, I was up to 185.1. I went to Vegas. Enough said, right? Um, so now that I've been back from Vegas a full week and I have gotten all of that crap out of my system, um, I am 178.8 as of yesterday. So I lost like six minutes. That seven six or seven I legitimately don't know what the math is um seven ish pounds since last week yeah something like that okay, I'm going with it six or seven pounds um since last week and I didn't really uh I just got back on the track you know I, I'm sure a ton of that was some water weight I'm sure it was lack of uh, restroom usage. I'm sure some of it was wine. <laughs> I'm sure some of it was uh, french fries and tacos from Jack in the Box. I'm certain it was from tacos from Jack in the Box. So anyways, I've gotten that out of my system. I'm now back into my maintenance range. So yay, let's hope I stay this time. Um, anyways, so I went, okay, here's the first thing. Um, my thumbnail that I'm gonna use for this video is like a before and after, and I tried on a bikini this past week and a half. Um, it's like the, I wish I had tried on different bottoms because I don't like the square cut bottoms. I wish I had just done like a normal bikini cut, but I tried on a flipping bikini and it wasn't awful. I was like, my, I showed it to my husband and I was like, would you be embarrassed or like, and obviously he's going to say no, but I think he really would be fine with it. And I think I'd be fine with it. I am going to buy an effing bikini. So, and maybe a really cute cover up for it. <laughs> so, um, anyway, so that's a big NSV. Uh, the, the thought of even wearing a bikini is insane. Like the fact that that's even like in my wheelhouse of questions that I'm asking. Anyways, um, so I'm gonna put a thumbnail because I did a, the first picture is like underwear and bra. Um, there, there are underwear on even though you can't see them because of my overhang. Um, second one was like at 250 and now I'm at 178. So anyways, um, that's my thumbnail. So um, yeah, so today, 
mind-blowing experience. I measured my height. Um, the fuck? I'm down an inch in my height. Like, I'm not 5'10 and a half anymore. I need to like reevaluate my life like at this point. I have been 5'10 and a half probably since I was like 16 or 17. Um, apparently there was some fat in there that was pushing me higher because I'm a solid 5'9 and a half now. And I have been measured for years and I was always 5'10 and a half. So I'm now 5'9 and a half. What? I don't even know what to do with that. I got to process. So that happened today. Um, so I had my, my one year follow up appointment with my surgeon last Saturday or the Saturday before that. And I know, I don't think I've made a video since then. Um, so I got my labs back. Um, that was, there was a couple of interesting things that are kind of going on for the most part. I'm good. Um, so one thing that's a little bit off is my potassium and funny enough, it's not low, it's high. So, um, we're kind of monitoring that. Um, apparently high potassium levels can, can potentially be an indicator of some kind of kidney issue. Um, he, the doctor also said it could be something from the drawing of the blood. Um, something could have happened. Um, I don't know, but I don't eat a ton of pet. I don't eat potassium rich foods, so I'm not sure what that would be. Um, I don't, I have no idea. I don't eat bananas. I don't eat potatoes. I don't eat um, oranges. I mean, so anyways, we're testing again in three months. Uh, the only other things that were high were my cholesterol, which is a um, little bit higher than it was in August when I had it done, when I had it checked last time. So, um, but the good thing I will say is that my HDL, which is your good cholesterol, went up. Um, and my LDL, which is your bad cholesterol, went down only by five points. So not a lot of change there, but my, um, my HDL did go up by 15 points. So, um, overall my labs were good. Um, they were perfect. Everything else, my vitamin um, Bs were actually a little high and they were like, that's great. We're totally happy with that. So uh, my vitamin D was perfect. My calcium was perfect. Um, there's like a bug. Did you see that? I don't know. Anyway, sorry. I think there was like a gnat. Anyways, um, everything else was perfect except for those couple of little things. So um, I will say, I don't take calcium. Sure don't. Um, I don't take iron. Sure don't. I don't take um, whatever else people take. I just, I, I, I have a very simple uh, vitamin routine and um, I do take them consistently. So um, anyways, uh, I get my calcium from my food and I drink a cup of almond milk every single day. So I don't know, maybe that has nothing to do with it, but I'm just, it makes me feel good. I feel like I get calcium from like my almond milk and then the little bit of dairy that I that I eat. So anyways, uh, what else? I went to Vegas last weekend, we had a great time, I drank way too much and I ate crappy food. There you go. I've just confessed my sins out loud so that I can move on with my life. But as it, um, vacations should be, it was a lot of fun. And I will say that this weekend coming up is another vacation weekend. Uh, four day weekend for me. Um, we are going to be doing a lot and a lot includes Disneyland, Vegas, uh, and then, um, LA. So literally going to be running and I don't, that it always means I'm probably going to end up eating some naughty things, but that's okay. That's what vacations are. You probably shouldn't have a vacation two weeks from each other, but uh, what can you do, right? That's life. I'm excited about it. Um, we are going to be spending some time, sorry, oh my bad, there was like a Instagram pop up and I moved it, but it was moving on. Um, oh, I feel like I'm all like frazzled and all over the place. I just ate and so I've got like the burpees um, 
where your food's like just trying to go down and it's kind of kind of wanting to come back up. Um, anyways, I've been doing really good. My standard diet uh, that I've been sticking with is just, um, you know, my normal low calorie. Uh, low calorie being under 1200 and for me, I gain weight when I go over 1400 so I gotta watch that. That's something I've kind of just noticed a pattern in the past couple of months. When I let those calories get too high, even if my carbs are low and like the 50 or 60, or, you know, 50 net carbs, uh, I gain weight. So I don't like that. <laughs> so I am keeping them um, lower and by doing that, I'm trying to uh, have lower calorie snacks during the day. So as opposed to eating like a serving of cashew or nuts of any kind really they're all really high in calories um and a protein bar and sometimes I was having two protein bars it's just because it tastes good and um you know just different like high calorie snacks so I'm trying to keep my snacks lower um so anyways I think that's it what else I don't have anything else um I hope you guys are having a good week I haven't gone to the gym I know I'm like I'm was doing so stinking good and here we are again I'm week like one and a half not going to the gym and I have zero motivation to go to the gym it's like as soon as you stop it, dude there's a gnat did you see it I look like a tweaker right now okay sorry um no offense if you you know whatever uh, <laughs> Um, I gotta get back to the gym. I feel much better when I'm going. I just literally don't have time. I have been working extra hours in preparation of these vacations. Um, this week in particular, I've been working a ton of extra hours. So I'm just trying to push really, really hard to, so that we can have a good weekend. Um, so anyways, the gym I think is honestly going to have to wait until next week. Have a good week, guys. I hope you guys are doing well, and um, I will talk to you soon. Bye.